This is the video review for Transformers THS-01 hybrid style convoy. Um, he's very cool. Um, very, very tiny. Very tiny. Um, some, some, some flaws that we'll get into. Um, one of which, as you can see, is uh, just vehicle mode. Uh, the truck mode looks nice. I mean, it looks, it looks kind of cool. Um, he does have a trailer. It does have a hinge that lets it rotate around. The legs. We'll go ahead and unclip that and flip out the stand here, and we'll put that to the side and we'll deal with that later. Now here's the actual vehicle mode. Um, just due to the die cast and the pegs, the paint gets too thick and these legs don't want to snap together. When you have the trailer on, the uh, the trailer hitch will hold these together and kind of keep it safe. But uh, just by himself, uh, he's he's very much on the the classics deluxe. Optimus scale. Um, his legs don't peg together. I mean, you can see the uh, the front of the truck. The wheels are tiny and kind of set in. Um, the front of the truck doesn't line up, and that that's just how it is. Even the actual pictures of the toy show it like this. You can't get that forward. So, um, yeah, just a little bit of a pain. Transformation is um, a little more complex than a deluxe, but. Uh, it's Optimus, so it's still fairly straightforward. You want to go ahead and pop his feet forward, just like that. And in a neat little thing, these uh, wheels rotate around like that. Um, just like that. And then you want to unplug the, the arms here. Bring them out and back. Yeah does not want to unpeg. There we go. And these just kind of fall off all the time. These just kind of friction peg onto his arm. Uh, just like that. You want to come up here and uh, if you look under here, this is the part I'm worried about. I, I may not be able to transform him for much longer because these are supposed to flip out um, like so, this is coming off. Uh, you got to rotate the wheels up into here. But if you see, there's a stress mark. It came this way. Let's see if I can get it to focus here. Um, there's a stress mark right here under the, on the piece. Uh, this whole tab is about to just crack off, and that's one of the tabs that keeps it attached to the uh, to the pole. So that's kind of a shame. I may be able to glue that on, but uh, we'll see. Um, but anyway, if, if they stay on like this side does, you just want to oh, refocus that. There we go. Uh, you want to rotate the uh, tire up into here. And then rotate it up like into the body like that. And again, we'll pretend we did that over here. I'll snap this back on, hopefully without cracking that off. If I can just wait until I get home. I just noticed the crack here. If I can just wait until I get home. I might be able to get a dab of super glue on there and keep it from from completely crapping off on me. Ah, uh, come on. Just stay on, just stay on. Stay up. And then you rotate. And then you want to, oh yeah, you want to take open up the chest here. And then you rotate the bumper around just like this. And then flip the, uh, flip this in and around like that. You want to get this so it's all the way flat. Rotate the chest down. Um, actually, it helps a little bit if you go ahead and flip this up. You can see he does have a little matrix in there uh, that is removable. Now, I'm not going to pop it out because it does get loose. Uh, it's very hard to get back in, but that does come out. He's got some special hands that help him hold it. Uh, then flip that down. Then just clip that closed again. Uh, again, need these. Is that right? No, something's wrong here. Is that right? No, okay. So yeah, okay. There we go. Put these down and then like this. Uh, down and then like that. There we go. And then push his waist down. Uh, fold his arms down. Push him into the body. Just like that. And then just flip these covers down. Pull up on his shoulder pads just a little. They kind of raise up 
little bit from vehicle mode. And then you come around to the back, open up this panel, flip his head out and around, and then peg this back in behind there, flip that piece down. And there is THS-01, or 02 I think this is, 01 was Galaxy Force Convoy. Um, little mini, mini Optimus Prime. And just for scale comparison, here he is with a three and three quarter inch Iron Man figure. Just so you get an idea of how small this prime is. Very poseable, um, just very small. Um, and now accessory wise, one of the things he comes with is this little cool little shiny metallic Autobot stand with a special stand that's designed to fit. It plugs right into the forehead of the Autobot symbol. And then this little tab plugs in under his waist, just like this. And so you can have him in various action poses up here. Uh, the stand moves up and down and also rotates. Um, came undone while I was rotating it, but you can see it rotates around as well. So you can get him in a lot of different poses. And we'll get into why he might need some flight poses here in a minute. But that's the robot. Um, it's very cool. Now, off to the side, here's the trailer. Uh, and the first thing you'll notice is this front piece comes off. And you open up the... Uh, open up the hinges and put his arms to the back here. And this just fits right over his arms. Just like that. And then you just wrap it around to the front here. Bring his arms down and he's got... Uh, the jet pack, Sight Swipe's jet pack from when he borrowed that in the cartoon. So you can put him on the on the stand and have him be in you know all kinds of really cool flying poses. And that's like I said, that store is just right on the front of the trailer when it's in trailer mode. Go ahead and get this off. The trailer itself has some neat little goodies, and we'll get into that right now. Move them off to the side. Now, the trailer is really kind of cool because when you open it up, you open up the back doors here, and when you open up the trailer, the, uh, the little legs on the side automatically fold out to support it, which is really nice. Um, there's a little button over here that if you push, uh, pops out the ramp, also nice. I don't know why this side is sinking lower than the other, but whatever. Um, and then you have the standard, and here's roller with the gas cap and uh, attachment. And the wire is a bendy wire, so it's stiff. It, it, uh, it's not just a rubber hose like the, like the old one. It is a stiff wire there. Um, and there's a little translucent red piece there, which is cool. His wheels turn. Uh, you can turn. Uh, so yeah, he's got some maneuverability there. Um, has the standard drone, a little repair drone that also uh, you can pull out some handles and have Optimus hold on to and use them like a machine gun assembly, which is kind of cool. Uh, also, there's storage space for his prime gun, and you can pop his hands off and give him the axe. Uh, and then the gun right there, just you fl flip the handle down. And he's got his rifle, which he can hold in his hand. There we go. So yeah, pretty cool. And then uh, you can also, like the other things, you can stand this up as a repair bay for Prime. Oh, yeah, there we go. But make sure not to activate that. There we go. You can have him standing here with the uh, diagnostics drone down here working on him. And again, you can store the axe over here, the gun over here. And then there's two little trays here that open up. And they store some different hands for them. Each side has a, has a fist with a little groove in it that you can put the matrix in. Um, an open hand, and then one hand has a pointing hand, and he's got another fist. His right hand has a one that, with his finger pointing, the other one just has like another open fist, like he's already got on his... Um, on his uh, 
think it looks like he may actually plug in here. Oh yeah, he does. He actually plugs right in there to stand in the diagnostics lab. There we go, just like that. So you can have him in his repair bay, which is kind of neat. And that's about all there is to it. I'm not going to swap out all the different hands because it's just, they're tiny and they, they like to fly everywhere. So, um, as a robot, he's really awesome as a little Optimus Prime robot with a re removable matrix and the hands and all this stuff. Uh, the transformation is, the, tr the transformation is actually very well designed. Um, it lacks a little bit in the fact that he's so freaking tiny, um, which is where you get into a lot of the structural problems. Um, I think it's why the vehicle mode doesn't come off quite as well, and also you have issues like this cracked peg, very, very fragile, mostly just due to the thinness of the plastic and, and the amount of force you have to use. And it's not a lot of amount of force, it's just, it's, it's, it's a high stress bearing piece that uh, is made out of some, some soft, thin plastic that is going to wear out. Um, so I, when I glue it, it may not work, I may just end up having to glue the piece on. And he may not transform into a truck anymore, which is sad, but really, I mean, the robot mode is what shines here. The uh, the truck itself looks okay with the trailer, but it doesn't look great. And uh, just a really neat little prime. It's totally worth it. Um, special thanks. Also, this review was made possible by Kapow Toys. Um, my friend Andy over there. It's over in the UK, but uh, they've got some really great deals on some really nice figures. Um, they're sponsoring the channel now, so they'll they'll be uh, bringing you some reviews for Kapow Toys. Um, this is the first of many, I hope. Um, we've got some more on the way. So again, go visit Andy over at KapowToys.com. I'll put the link down there and over in the uh, over in the sidebar. And um, and yeah, check him out. He's he's a really cool guy. Um, he's really willing to work with you, and uh, an just another good friend of mine that that I'm happy to have working with us here on the channel. So welcome to Andy from Kapow Toys and the whole Kapow Toys staff. Um, go check them out. Um, and if you like this review, pick up a THOS-02 hybrid convoy for him because he really is quite cool.